She came from a place that had about 21 Alzheimer's patients and pretty much two and a half people watching them. He was a flight risk. They couldn't keep him there. I'm just so happy that we're here. We call it deinstitutionalizing long-term care. It's getting the individuals out of the nursing homes and institutions back to our community. And if you can't live in your own home, to live in a home in a community is very important for that individual. And what separates us from other memory care providers is we're committed to the four principles of memory care. The first principle is what we call attentive care. How many care providers do you have to how many residents? At our family home, we are proud to say that we have two care providers that take care of five residents. Our second principle of care, our warm, safe residential home. We're able to sit in a family room together. We're able to eat at a kitchen table. Our third principle of care is our compassionate continuity, the care providers. We train our staff specifically for memory care. Our full-time staff work only three days a week. They recharge their batteries, they come back in with a big smile and they give it all again. Our fourth principle is what we call healthy living. The food makes a huge impact. We know if you don't eat well, we have a lot of physical challenges that come forth. That's what it's about. Getting individuals to live the quality of life, to have the happiness, to feel a belonging, and to feel a place that is theirs. Since he's been here, he is off every drug he was on. She feels safe here, you can tell, and she's happy. I still remember the story today, bringing my mother through my first property. My mother said to me, Evan, I'm gonna live here one day, aren't I? She's lived in our care home for over three years. I'm honored and proud to say that our family home is living up to the four principles of memory care that we've established because it's personal. <laughs>